This is a short video about the chi-square test. So the chi-square test comes about when we have a sample of a finite, small, usually space. So here we have a space of uh, 1 to 5, and we have samples from it. And we're also given a distribution over 1 to 5. Here we consider the uniform distribution. So we can draw a histogram where the, um, the blue uh, bars are the sample frequencies and the orange bars are the true frequencies. So we see that uh, the, the uh, sample frequencies are not exactly the same as the true frequencies, as we would not expect them to really be. And uh, the question is, can we still say whether or not this sample comes from the given distribution? <clears throat> so the null hypothesis is that yes, it comes from that distribution. And the alternative is no, it does not come from that distribution. So here's how the chi-square test looks in Python, if you want to use it. And uh, here the Python gets a uh, um, these parameters, f obs, f x, where f obs uh, describes the uh, frequencies, the observed frequencies, and f x uh, describes the um, the expected frequencies or the true probability. Then, what the chi square test would re return is the chi square statistic, and importantly, the p value. So the p-value basically would tell us how likely it is that this sample was generated from the given distribution. And um, if the p-value is small, then we can reject the null hypothesis and say, no, it's probably from a different distribution. Definition of the chi-square statistic. So the Chi-square statistics is defined by the following formula. And uh, in this formula, pi is the true distribution, oi is the number of observation of type i, of the element i, and n is the total number of observations. So if we look here, we see that oi over n, that's the the um, empirical distribution or the fraction of the observation that are of type i, and we compare it to pi. So that makes sense that we look at this difference. Then the next thing we do is we also compare it to the pi itself. So we look at the relative difference, and then we square it. Finally, we average all of these according to the distribution pi and multiply it by the number of observations. So this gives us the chi-square statistic. And the chi-square statistic has a particular distribution. And using that distribution, we can calculate the p-value. So if the sample space size, number of observation, is k, here we had k equal 5, then the chi-square statistic obeys a chi-square distribution with k minus 1 degrees of freedom. And really, that's all I think you need to know in order to do the homework. Okay.